SBFalcons.com here with head men's basketball coach Grant Leap after an 88-75 uh, loss to Alaska Anchorage in the quarterfinals of the GNAC tournament. Uh, coach, your thoughts on the game? Yeah, and, and Alaska Anchorage did such a good job. They, they continually just kind of rose to the occasion and made such timely shots. They went on a, on a, on a big run. We, we just had such a hard time getting a stop. Um, and then, obviously, during that time, then you know we had a few turnovers, which led to led to points for them. But again, they they were able to, you know, make we made 14 threes, and and that's a recipe for them to play really well. They they have so many guys that can hurt you from the arc, and 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 they did it. They did a good job. In, in the first half, you were able to build a 13 point lead. What was your team doing right at that point? Well, I, I thought we did a nice job. We we got stops. And that allowed us to play in transition, and, and that's probably when we're at our best. I thought our guys made really, we had really good possessions where the ball was moving after getting to the paint, and we finished those plays. Our guys made shots. We had a little bit harder time making, making shots, especially from the three in the second half, even when we had those same good quality plays where we executed, got the ball to the paint, and then played out. Um, and ultimately, you got to make you got to make shots in this game, and and, and they, credit to to Anchorage for doing it. Your usual suspects did their share of the scoring, but in that successful stretch where you took a lead, you got three pointers, uh, three of them from Bijan Sadu. You got one from J Jacob Medjo, who had another one later in the game, and Sion Blackman. Um, just talk about what impact those kind of guys had off the bench. Yeah, and not only that, but that was also a group where we were able to string a lot of stops together when they were in. So that it, it's no coincidence to me, you know, that just how, how your offense and defense are so related. When we were getting stops, we were able to go get some easy, easier looks um, in transition. And then, again, getting into the paint early puts pressure on defense, plays them out of rotation. But those guys did a nice job coming in and being ready to play and give energy. Um, Bajan had a great week in practice shooting the ball, and so it was nice to see that carry over. You know, Sion has been so steady for us all year, so um, how he competes when he comes in, it was always great to see him hit a good, clean look on his first one. And then Jake, that's one of the things that he's always done well in the time that he's been here, is shoot the ball from the three. So to see him be able to impact the game from the three-point line, which at his size, it's pretty unique. So. Um, you know, we really, we've been talking to some of those guys about being able to come in and give us some scoring punch off of the bench, and, and they did it tonight. They did a good job. Your team uh, maintained that uh, halftime lead, and in fact, you're up 60-50 to 50, uh, well into the second half. Then uh, Anchorage won a 17-0 run. I think your team went nine straight possessions without a basket or without getting points. Mm -hmm. What was Anchorage doing defensively to, to key that run? They, they kept the pressure up. Um, they did a good job of, of keeping us out of the paint early. And then again, when they, when they were scoring, when you don't get, you know, we, now we've got to play against set defense the entire possession, and, and, that, and that's just different. It's harder to execute and run your stuff. I thought, again, in, even in that stretch, we had a few turnovers that led to, led to points for them, but we still were able to execute and find some clean looks. We just weren't able to knock them in. And you have to be able to, you know, with a team that can shoot it as well as they do, you ha you can't have those stretches where you're not you're not finishing the plays on the end of good execution. And we just had too many possessions like that tonight. Well, every team, it's the nature of basketball. Every team in the country is going to have their season end sooner than they want. Um, yours was in the quarterfinals of GNAC tournament. Um, you now have to say goodbye to some real key guys who, who've been a great foundation and some great runs for this uh, program recently. Just talk a little bit about them. Yeah, I just appreciate the, the time and the effort and the commitment that all of those guys have shown us. You know, um, Harry and Sharif for six years, Devontae and Jake for four, Philip and Medi for three each. And through all the ups and downs of everything, the way that you know those guys have been teammates now for so long, that's really special. And that's one of the really cool things about college basketball is the amount of time that we can get guys together and, and keep them together and, and the, the relationships that form and build. Those guys all in their own way did something to lay a foundation for, for what we've been able to accomplish over the, you know, over the last probably three or four years especially. Uh, and, and the direction that our program has gone. And it's a great example for those that are coming back of how to build 
build something that can be sustainable and build something that you can achieve some long success with. And now we have to get back to doing that with these guys. But I can't thank those guys enough. Um, not only are they, you know, great basketball players, they're great people. And, and they're going to leave SPU with, with a, such a bright future in front of them. I can't wait to, to see what happens next for those guys. Lastly, one of the quirky things about tonight's game was uh, that those players will have played their last game in SB uniform in a road uniform mm -hmm. uh, yeah. on a bench that they're unfamiliar with. As the lower seed, uh, you were technically the, the away team mm -hmm. today. You wore the dark uniforms, the other bench on the scoreboard, you were uh, not in the, on that home side. Uh, what was that dynamic like for you? It was, it was a little bit odd at first, you know, I've been here for 13 years and I've never been on that side of the, of the court for a game. Once the game gets going though, you just kind of get back into your usual habits. But it was, it was strange because it also reminded me, I think it was back in the 17-18 in the season when Anchorage hosted the conference tournament. We were the 4-5 matchup and it was the same thing. We were, the, we were the home team in their arena, they were the visiting team in their arena when we played. So. Um, we've, it just seems it's just an odd coincidence that, that both times that happened, it's, it's the same opponent. But um, yeah, it, once the game got going, it was something you don't think about anymore. Um, but it was it was definitely different at first. Great. Well, coach, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Yep. Thank you.